Hey guys, how's it going? It's Peter Day here, and I'm in New York City just making this video. I'm about to head off to a few networking events tonight. So I want to make this video to give you guys some tips on networking because Tyler and I have closed a lot of our big deals in our business by networking at different conferences and stuff. So tip number one with networking is go into the networking event knowing exactly what you're looking for. So you need to know, you know, what are your goals and, and maybe have two or three things on the top of your mind that you're specifically looking to get out of networking. Are you looking for more offers? Are you looking for more clients? Are you looking to um, sell your product or service? Are you looking for uh, someone to give you a tip? Like, what are you trying to get out of networking? And I, I think you have to go into networking pretty much having at least a few intentions or else you... Um, uh, you know, you just don't really know what you're doing then in your networking. So, so you have to go in with a few intentions. Um, number two, when you're networking, uh, try to, you know, don't be shy. Really talk to a lot of people and, you know, make sure that you uh, kind of quickly find out if someone has anything remotely interested interesting to you. So, I mean, for example, I was networking last night and there was some guy selling a uh, some kind of service and it just... It had it, it didn't have really anything to do with what we're looking for right now. So um, we ended up getting into some conversation. It was kind of hard to get out of the conversation. It ended up being, you know, like 10, 12, 14 minutes talking to this dude about something that, like, at the end of the day, I didn't even use and stuff. So what I recommend with networking is that, you know, don't fall in that trap. So when I go out tonight, I'm going to be more... Uh, productive in the networking and stuff and just make sure that if someone has it doesn't have what you're looking for you know maybe just politely uh, just you know so you know not yeah nice like, nice meeting you kind of thing you know nice meeting you I'll definitely keep that in mind and just just kind of uh, end it right then and there because it's if there's like 50 people in a room and it's a networking event you know maybe Maybe there's like 10 people or five people that really have something that you're looking for. And networking is really a numbers game. So you have to come into it knowing what you're trying to do and try to keep your conversations really brief with people that don't have what you want. Um, if you find people that have something that you think could benefit you or uh, some kind of relationship or connection that you think you could benefit you, maybe you're talking to someone and you're like, wow, I think this person could be a client or... They have some good offers that I could promote. Definitely get the person's contact info. I recommend writing it down rather than just uh, taking their card in case you lost that card later. And maybe at least put their contact in your phone or something. And uh, just do networking. I mean, networking is good. I closed uh, two really big deals last night in networking uh, for my business. One is to promote an offer directly with an advertiser but at kind of like a higher payout than um than than normal for that so that was a good deal we closed and then um tyler and i also closed a deal yesterday we're just going to be doing a service for a uh, a company kind of as an agency so last night's and yesterday's networking was really productive for us and we closed two big deals we believe, I mean, th these are good deals. I, I think one the one deal that we're just acting more like an agency or a service will probably earn us like $30,000 a month, maybe more. Um, the deal where we're going to be promoting the offer directly at kind of that higher payout than normal, I mean, if that that's the kind of thing where it's going to be hit or miss, it might not work at all, but, you know, we need to test it. If it does work, though, um, that could be like a $100,000 a month um, campaign and stuff. So... We're at Affiliate Summit East this week, and we're really just a few days into the summit and networking. And Tyler and I are really aggressive at, at networking and just getting more deals and expanding our business and stuff. So yesterday we closed two very good deals, and that was just the first day. So we're going to two networking things tonight, and we're going to be here the next five days. But what I wanted to give you guys is some networking tips because, I mean, we closed two deals yesterday we closed a ton of deals in the past by networking, and we really try to get the absolute most return out of investment of going to these conferences because we're investing our time. I mean, we're here a week. Uh, you know, we have to travel and 
Thankfully, we actually have a nice place to stay in the city, and that's where I've been recording these videos from. But let's do this. I'm going to wrap it up because I actually need to get to this networking event, but hopefully that helps you guys just get in the mindset and some tips about networking because if you're just kind of in a cave in your house trying to do internet marketing, you need to get out there. Go to Affiliate Summit East or Affiliate Summit West or go to Affiliate World, go to LeadCon, go to MailCon, go to you know, some masterminds, go to some of these conferences because these people here, they have offers and they have deals and stuff and they have, maybe they can be a client of yours. Maybe you can use your skills in Facebook ads to promote their product. Maybe you can, uh, you know, use something, maybe you're very good at making landing pages and, you know, maybe you're talking to someone and they're like, you know what, I really need that. And you just never know. So go into networking knowing exactly what you're looking for be aggressive with your networking try to talk to a lot of people and try to weed through people kind of quick not in a rude way but really try to get out of the conversation if they don't have what you're looking for you know like nice to meet you i'll definitely keep that in mind but you know that's not what what i do that much right now but definitely you know nice to meet you kind of thing move on to people and you know what again it's a numbers game if there's 50 people in the room you're really looking for those like three people that maybe have a, a million dollar deal for you so this is Peter. I'm going to head out to this networking, but I would just wanted to make this video before I left to give you guys some tips and, and everything. So, um, Peter here and we'll talk soon. All right. Bye.